Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another Wireshark video and I'm glad you're here. Grab yourself a coffee, sit down, and let's go through the statistics drop-down window and specifically talk about protocol hierarchy. Apart from the endpoints window, the protocol hierarchy window is probably my, my second step when I want to do a thorough analysis of a network. I like to think about a capture I got one in front of us here as a story. It's got a literal beginning and it's got an end. And inside that story, we have characters that are doing something. We just don't know what the story is yet. The protocol hierarchy window is our way of figuring out what these characters are doing and what they're saying in this story. We use endpoints to figure out the characters. And we use protocol hierarchy to understand what they are saying in this story. So right on the screen here, I actually have an example of a PCAP that somewhere inside of this capture of 20,000 packets, there is a piece of malware that was installed. The moment in time where a user retrieved a piece of malware and is now infected. Now, if you're used to this channel, you, you'll know that I use a, a particular security profile called the Meg, and it's got lots of cool features, predominantly the coloring scheme, but then I've got a bunch of drop downs here that are quite useful for troubleshooting and using display filters to actually root out and find some security issues. So I'm going to actually use a filter that's in the MIG to find that piece of malware right away. Okay, It is in HTTP, and we're going to be looking for HTTP file transfers. What that filter does for us, actually, is it looks for matches in the URI for tar, exe, zip, PDF bin, and PHP. So these are things that match that, that particular string. Okay. Awesome. Let's look at our first one, two, three, four, five, six packets here. And we can see right away that we've got an exe that is being re being retrieved right over here. Now, in this video, I'm not going to be doing a malware analysis on this. I have, in fact, safely exported this, this exe and have actually done some analysis on it to find out that in fact it, it is a bad one, but this isn't the video where we're doing that on. Okay, What I wanna do right now is show you that we know what the answer is. Let's use protocol hierarchy to validate and sort of show how we can get to that point if we don't have a profile, a security profile like the MIG. All right, let's close out of this. And we are going to jump over to the statistics drop down. Statistics, and we're going to access the protocol hierarchy, which is number three on the list. In a moment here, you're going to see why I really like the protocol hierarchy window. Because what it does for us is that it shows us uh, whatever the current filter is. So right now it's just everything in the window behind. This is showing us all of the the stats for the protocols that are being used in the, whatever we're currently filtering on. So we can see right away that we've got 96.3% is IPv4. That's pretty normal. And uh, let's expand it. And there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff happening inside here. If we scroll down, we can see that TCP TCP has a 95% of the total packets uh, relating to that particular protocol. So, I mean, that would be an avenue that we can we can dig into. Let's actually use some of our filtering directly from this protocol hierarchy window. How to do that is we're going to select the protocol that we want, and I'm going to right click on it, and then I'm going to do apply as filter selected and the protocol that's being filtered right now is tcp now i could have done that i could have just typed tcp into the display filter and it would have been presented with this exact same details 
that's fine. And if you want to do it that way, that's that's great if that's part of your process. But what we're doing here is we're looking at the protocols that are in use and then picking particular protocols to zero in on. I've got all the TCP stuff. Everything that involves TCP is on the screen right now. Great. Let's go and take a look at some of the, some of the machines that are active on this network. I do have a private asset that is communicating on this particular network. Honestly, I would use the endpoints window as well. And then take a peek at the IPv4 and then look at like who's doing the most talking. And in this particular case, 10.2.8.101 has 20,000 208 packets. And remember, the, the total here is 21,000. 21, so an astronomical amount of traffic is coming from this particular machine. I want to zero in on that machine itself. I can do that from the endpoints window, but I'm gonna actually do it from the, the list window here. And I know this is my target here that I wanna figure out what's going on. Let's right click on that and do Apply as filter selected. So now that's going to change my IP address to be IP.SRC equals 10.2.8.101. This is all of the packets inside of this capture where that IP address is in the, the source part of the header. What is happening here? Like, what is this particular machine doing? What is it saying? Well, let's let's look at how it's talking on the network. We do that with the protocol hierarchies window. Let's fly back up to statistics, and go on down to protocol hierarchy, and now we have a bit of a different a different view. Okay, what we're seeing on the screen right now is all the protocols that directly connect with whatever I filtered. So remember, I'm filtering on source IP of this. So of that, this is all of the protocols that are in play. This is all the communication protocols that are coming from that IP address. Beautiful. So then let's dig in just a little bit deeper. Um, I mean, we know what the answer is. So a network anal an analyst would go through and sort of check, check each of these things. But we can see that there isn't much like we got two packets there, two packets there of the total in that particular filter, which is 9,566, 9,387 pertain to transmission control protocol. So connections, that's something is happening that is connection based. Let's actually look over at number of packets here. It has 725 coming from hypertext transfer protocol. We also have a malform packet. I mean, this would be something that I would like to dig into. HTTP always returns something interesting. Okay. <laughs> Add that to your process when you're doing some security stuff is check out HTTP. It's usually pretty interesting. Let's do it something different here though. So now Look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click on this protocol. I'm going to go to apply as filtered, but this time I'm not going to do selected. I'm going to do and selected. Close this and now look at how our filter has changed. I've got the source IP address and I have the protocol that I want to know more about. If we look at our our filter here and what it's doing for us. I've got some I got the source IP address and only HTTP protocol. This is good. This is three percent of the total twenty one thousand. So it's it's a smallish number. It's seven hundred twenty five. That's great. Um, one could one could cycle through this and look for for interesting things. I mean, right away we also we know that this is in fact the the bad file but like what's what what came before that we have a a bin file that was retrieved that seems suspicious 
uh, another bin file, and we've got some kind of directory. Uh, but then we have the actual executable that's been downloaded. Somehow these are connected. Remember, we're not doing a malware analysis, but we have used the protocol hierarchy to zero in and get a better idea of like, what is going on here? 